G'day everyone, Artist Wayne here, and it's time for March Moto Madness. Some of us rode, some of us drove, and some of us, well, some of us even towed. But it didn't matter how we got there, as long as we were there at the Bylong Creek 4x4 Park in the beautiful Bylong Valley. And after everyone had set up their tents, it was time to sit around the fire and relax with a cold brew. The weekend was organised and hosted by the lovely and amazing Andrea. And along with her son Max, they made sure we were watered, fed and well looked after. And on Saturday morning, after breakfast, it was time to find out who was the slow riding champion of the world. This is certainly not an event for the faint hearted. It takes skill and determination. Some of the riders were so good, they barely looked like they were moving. You need steely nerves and fantastic balance. And it's an event where throttle control is very important. But there can be only one winner. And as Andrea and Max separated the boys from the men, Mark was crowned the slow rotting champion of the world for 2016. Winners are grinners. Saturday's surface had barely been scratched and we headed out to explore the trails of the Bylong Valley 4x4 Park. It's situated 50 kilometres east of Mudgee or 60 kilometres north of Ralston and it offers a range of tracks from touring to advanced, easy to hard. And it didn't take us long to find a steep, gnarly, rutted hill that we could have some fun on. Alan went down first on his big KDM 990 adventure bike and he gave everyone a lesson on how it's done. That's Mr. Cool right there. Then it was my turn and I thought I'd give everyone a lesson as well. I gave them a lesson on how to crash your bike into a rock whilst dismounting gracefully. Not bad, eh? Mike was next on his KDM Enduro, and then it was an avalanche of BMWs. Doug was riding Bumblebee. Next was Mark with some rear brake assist. You certainly get by with a little help from your friends. And lastly was Mark number two with some more brake assist. The boys were certainly getting a terrific workout. And whilst we were having fun on steep, ugly hills, Kinga, Andrea, Robbo, Richard and Graham were exploring other parts of the beautiful 4x4 park. But the guys weren't content with just riding around the park. They wanted to get down and dirty and manhandle the bikes. Weightlifting in the morning does wonders for working up an appetite for lunch. So we all regrouped and headed out in search of food. It was a glorious day, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. And we were off to find some dirt trails that would lead us somewhere special for lunch. We were heading to a small rural town that had a population of around 800 and is located on the now closed Guaybiga railway line between the larger towns of Ralston and Mudgee. And it sits about 20 kilometres southeast of Mudgee. 
The town we were heading towards was called Louis. And in 1884, at the opening of the railway to Mudgee, it became very prosperous. But unfortunately, it started its decline from the 1930s. And there's only a couple of businesses still in operation. And one of those is the Louis Hotel. And that's where we were heading. And I'll tell you what, here's a big shout out to Pam and her team. She cooked us the most delicious lunch. And if ever you find yourself in the area, do yourself a favour, drop in and enjoy the food and hospitality. And after a great feed, wonderful company and some cold beverages, it was time to get back in the saddle. We just had to wait for Doug to trim his bush. And we were off once again, and we weren't heading back to camp, oh no. There was a lot more fun to be had, and we were heading across country towards the town of Ralston. The Ralston Candos region is located on the western edge of the Blue Mountains, and it's one of those rare, uncrowded places that combines old-fashioned friendliness with genuine charm and breathtaking scenery. The area sits astride the Great Dividing Range and is the gateway to the World Heritage Wollamine National Park. Also the stunning Kapiti Valley and the deeply carved upper valleys of the Golden Hunter River systems. And let's not forget the beautiful Dunn Swamp, which is a spectacular camping and picnic area on the headwaters of the Kudjagong River. So far we'd had an absolutely wonderful day. It was time to head back towards camp and regroup for happy hour. It was also time for Andrea to give out some very special awards. And that night she made two pots beautiful Indian curry and of course Max the legend was doing his part as well and we all talked about the day's riding and the fun we'd had then it was time to build a fire to the motorcycle gods we built a fire so big it could be seen from outer space Next morning, it was time for Kinga to organise a photo shoot. What a wonderful and memorable weekend we all had. And I'd like to thank Richard and Alan for sharing their photographs, Kinga for sharing her video, but the biggest and hugest thank you goes to Max and Andrea, you guys absolutely made the weekend, you guys rock. And I can't wait for next year's March Moto Madness. I'm artist Wayne Dowsant and thanks for watching everyone.